and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paisley for those of you who do not know me and welcome to an unbiased, uncompromised Princess Polly haul. Lockdown's been getting to me, you know what I mean? We're on like what, week three of level four lockdown, so I caved. I caved. I was doing really, really well for the first like two and a half weeks here in lockdown in New Zealand of not buying anything, just putting things in my cart and kind of like online window shopping, you know what I'm saying? Things have been hovering in my cart, lots of hauls have been coming up on YouTube for the people that I follow and a lot of my friends. I had this whole girl group chat. Anytime someone buys something or like wants to buy something, we put it in the chat and everyone's like, oh my god, yeah, I get it. So like there's been a lot of that going on. So I bought some stuff. I recently came in it to some extra money as well. Oh, 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 Missy wants to be in. Do you want to play with this sock? Go get it. Hey, Uters, I totally forgot what I was saying. Group chat. Everyone's been posting what they got. Oh, I recently came into some money because I was supposed to be at a music festival right now in the United States in Napa Valley, but obviously I'm not in California. <laughs> Jack and I were supposed to be in the States-ish. It was kind of like the outline of the plan right now, but obviously with the state of the world, we don't really want to leave New Zealand until the MIQ facilities are like no longer a thing, which who knows when the heck that will happen. So anyways, but we're, regardless of that situation, we're probably gonna be going back to the States like mid next year, but that's a whole other can of worms to open up. So anyways, bringing it back here. Long story short, I'm supposed to be in America right now at a music festival. Obviously couldn't be there, so I ended up selling my tickets like for half the price to my best friend back home, Juliana. Got money from that. Why not do a little Princess Polly haul? Why not? Because I've been having these things in my cart for literally two weeks and then I finally pulled the trigger because you know why not why why not consider me just a cliche lockdown gal but you know at least I have some really cute outfits to use once I get out of here so yay I'm not gonna say this is a huge haul but it's a pretty decent size I'm really excited about these pieces I'll just start off with what I'm wearing the whole outfit is new so I have this green bodysuit that's like a ribbed material really fun green this is actually on markdown which I wasn't expecting at all it's like a one shoulder kind of thing which I thought I didn't like but I don't know it's been growing on me maybe it's because seeing it a lot on social media and a lot of girls are wearing it now so then like I'm getting used to it. It's like Birkenstocks for like when some people started wearing them in high school. And I thought they were like the ugliest things ever. Why would someone put them on their feet? And then like it started to get really trendy and then like everyone started wearing them and I'm like, oh my God, they're actually like kind of cute. And so I bought a mirror. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just like, I, I'm sure there's like a scientific term for it and I'm sure I learned it in psychology. Yes, the more I saw it, the more I came to like it. So I think that's why this one shoulder kind of thing it's nice and plus I have really broad shoulders and I think that this just makes like my collarbone What is this called your decolletage area? Did I say that right? I think that it makes this collarbone area look really nice and dainty and Having broad shoulders. I never really want attention to my shoulders like halters don't look great on me But I don't know. I think this is really nice next item. We'll just keep on with the bodysuits so I got the same bodysuit, but in black this one wasn't on markdown. It has a little bit of um lint on it already our house just like has so much lint like anytime I sit down maybe it's just this couch or something but whenever I'm wearing black leggings or blue leggings sorry I'm playing with my dog right now black leggings or blue leggings I always get lint on them like literally covered in lint so I don't really know what that's about but anyways so I got this other bodysuit black simple to the point you'll see it in the try on it's just Comfy, ribbed once again, stretchy, one shoulder. Just a great basic piece to have. I just, I see this. I see this very clearly in some outfits. Next bodysuit and last bodysuit that I got is this funky little fun pattern. So it has that little tie in the front that ruches and makes the boobs look nice. Not a low back, but it's nice. I think this will look really cute with some white pants, any white shorts, whatever, brown pants. I think it's just going to look so nice in the summer. A little bit different, a little bit groovy. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just super fun. 
So yay. Moving on to the pantaloons. I'm gonna say yes to pantaloons. First pair of pants, I'm wearing them, are these white pants. They're the Archer pants. These beautiful flowy pants, look. These have been sitting in my cart for like two and a half weeks. I went on, I was about to purchase everything. I go to check out, these were sold out in my size. I almost had a tantrum. I was like, why didn't I just pull the trigger sooner? And then I waited a few days and luckily they restocked in my size. So I got them, but I do have to say they are a little bit snug on the waistline. Got them in the brown color as well, which you'll see. And those fit me perfectly. So kind of even have some room to them, but these like just the waist part where I button it up is pretty, it's pretty snug. I don't know why, because the brown and the white pants are literally the same model and style and everything, and they're the same exact size, they just fit differently. So I would say if you're in between sizes, because I'm in between an Australian eight and an Australian 10, which is a US four or six. She's biting my finger right now and I literally cannot handle it. You need to calm down. I promise we'll go on walkies after this. I know, I know. Mm, thank you. I wish I kind of would have gotten a size bigger in these, but then I'm happy with the size eight and the brown. It's just weird. Some materials fit different than others, I guess, but I feel like these are the same material. I don't really know what to say. There's just a little bit of difference there, but regardless, I love these. I think that these are going to be amazing in summer just for like going out to brunch or just to put on over my bikini and wear my bikini top as like a top. Wearing some heels with it, going out to dinner. I'm so excited and they make my butt look nice. These are really high-waisted, which I love. They like actually hit me above the belly button, which is exactly what I want. Because if you're like me and you have an athletic body build, you don't really have any curves. Like you're literally just a rectangle. So having any help at all to cinch in the waist is perfect. And that's what these pants do. Highly recommend these, but if you are gonna get the white, just be mindful if you're in between sizes, would definitely go for the size above. But in the brown, true to size fully. <laughs> Moving on. So I kind of alluded to the fact that I have these in the brown pants as well. Same nice, like slightly stretchy material, nice and flowy, a beautiful chocolate brown color. Again, I got these in the Australian eight and they fit perfectly and just flowy and fantastic. Again, I see this dressing up or dressing down. I know that I titled this video and said at the beginning, oh my God. Sorry if it's a different frame, but you fell, so. I know that I was saying at the beginning and this title is unbiased, but honestly, Princess Polly has like really nice things and I was so impressed with this haul. I know that I've bought things from Princess Polly in the past, especially like their dresses. I mean, I only have one dress and it kind of, I'll talk about it later. Their dresses to me, didn't feel like the best quality, but I did buy the dresses before and I already like got rid of them because I really didn't like them, but they're like really flimsy material. They didn't fit right. They're like small and... Is my eyesight bad or are you actually blurry? Mm. Okay, that was like stressful AF. I'm sorry if the frame keeps changing, but... You've fallen like three times. I have no idea what I was talking about. I think I was talking about, oh yes, I had some flimsy dresses from there that I bought before in the past, like a year ago or whatever, and they just didn't fit right and I wasn't impressed with it. And like literally anytime I bought either a skirt or a dress in there, just not impressed with the quality. But I do have to say like this haul that I've gotten, I was one of eyes. This is so good. Thoroughly impressed with the quality, the, just like the look and the feeling and the fit of everything. The dresses before just like proportionally just like did not fit right. I know that I have like kind of slightly interesting proportions. I do have broad shoulders, but I have really narrow hips. So it's just like, I don't have that classic like womanly physique. It's totally cool, like I love my body, but that's just reality. Like I do have a rectangle body. So kind of even like a triangle body. Long story short, I've been babbling for quite some time about this. Everything has been fitting really nicely, so I'm really excited about it. I did get a dress, which I'm really excited about because it did definitely redeem my opinion on Princess Polly dresses. It's part of their like Earth Club collection, so it is 100% organic cotton. It's just this white bodycon dress, which I think is so cute. It's a ribbed material, really comfy. The probs will have to use nipple pads underneath because she deaths for 
freeze the nipple, which totes cool, but like if I'm gonna be around my future in-laws, definitely don't wanna be showing the nip. I kind of wish I got the 10. I think the fit, like the tightness of it is perfect, but it is really short. Like I feel like I have to constantly pull it down. This makes me feel a little scandy, which there's a time and a place for that. But when I'm out with the gals or at brunch, I definitely don't wanna be like playing with my dress the entire time. I kind of just wanna like, be comfy for nice matches with everything i will never get over it I did get a bikini not so sure if i'm gonna put this in the try on haul because one i'm white af right now like literally translucent i'm pretty sure that you can see all of my organs and veins and that's so cute so i got this brown bikini kind of cheeky in the back i think it's like the perfect amount of cheeky like it's literally it's not like necessarily a thong love the top it's like that classic like balcony bra style top which i love these like i said before halters don't look cute on me so i love bikinis that just go straight over the shoulder and i think this is just really nice and i think that once i'm tan it'll look even better on really nice material this is part of the earth club as well i think it's probably yeah recycled nylon so yay love that last but certainly not least i got these are gonna be controversial i feel like <laughs> they're controversial in the girls chat a lot of them are like oh yeah like they'll look good on you i think my dad's gonna hate these <laughs> they're these like chunky sandals my dad would probably call them jesus cleats or jerusalem cruisers don't know if that's offensive, probably is, but he says that this is probably something that Jesus would wear. He says that about my Birkenstocks as well. But I think these are so cute, and I think that they would look really cute with this outfit with like a black bag, really comfy. I actually hiked up Mountain Vic because I wanted to like look trendy one day, and I wore like all black, and I wore these with it, and they're so comfy and they're so cute. Wish I sized down though. Slightly too big, but luckily with like the straps and everything, they like fit okay, and it's not like, ridiculously too big it's like probably half a size too big because i am traditionally like a nine and a half i know i got big feet but girls tall you know what i mean big feet big attitude <laughs> i'm just kidding that's literally not a thing but maybe it is i think that <sighs> fuck i forgot what i was saying oh since i'm a nine and a half like nine probably would have been too small and then a ten probably is too big and that's what it is but 10 out of 10 really love these i think they're really cute i just wish that they offered them in half sizes you know oh last thing how could i forget one of my favorite items a claw clip yay so i got this as well they have so many different claw clips on their site which i was really excited about but i definitely just wanted a white one because i already do have a black one perfect easy breezy i love just throwing my hair and the like little claw clip i could probably do it right now as well oh my god so cute do i love or is the viewfinder just too small so i can't see how yucky i look <laughs> we will never know editing paisley will know love it so good perfect for summer perfect for out of the face this is like one of my favorite ways to wear my hair at work as well a little bit cuter than like a ponytail you know what i mean anyways that's basically it that's like my honest opinion of everything i got pretty much long story short i love everything i'm really excited about everything this has definitely been a redemption for me for princess polly because things in the past that i got wasn't really impressed with but these are great i think my favorite are like the two items that i'm wearing right now the archer pants and then the one piece the bodysuit one shoulder action i'm excited i can't wait to have summer roll around little tip if you're watching this and you're like where's the discount code obviously not sponsored yet we're manifesting some brand actions. I don't even know, brand deals? Is that what it's called? <laughs> oh my God. But anyways, highly recommend just looking up a Princess Polly haul. If I'm the first one that you've seen, hey, looking at the sponsored Princess Polly hauls because they usually have a discount code and I've been using a discount code. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and for being here and for, you know, indulging in my little lockdown spending spree. It's been great. Take your time to like this video, comment, and subscribe. It really helps promote my little tiny growing family on here. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here each and every time. I appreciate your support and love and just this community. Pretty cool that we're constantly growing. Anyways, I love you so much. I think I've said that enough, but you can never say I love you enough. I'm just gonna stop talking now. I hope you have a beautiful day. Happy Monday if you're watching this on the Monday here in New Zealand. And... Yeah, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.